Now, I didn't get this for the longest time because I thought, I don't look that exciting. Warmer than clay club. Clay quark quark quark. Hey guys, welcome back. So I've got Friday favorites and foodies for you today, and I've pretty much been continuing on the same trend, um, just that like girly, very kind of highlighty sort of favorites this week. Um, but I do have like one neutral, well, a couple of neutral things because, you know, sometimes I needed some neutrals to like ground the sort of more colorful things. So it's sort of a hodgepodge, but we're still pretty girly with the favorites this week. So let's jump into it. On my nails this week, I'm wearing one of the polishes from the Wet n Wild Spring Collection, the Spring Into the Wild Collection. I do have a review haul swatch type video on that whole collection. I'll link it down below for you and also link it somewhere somewhere in a card for y'all. But this is the polish that I wore this week. This is in the color Kiss My Mints. I love it. Love it so much. And this has worn really well. It's just a really pretty, very light, minty green color, but it's just like a creamy sort of a finish to it. It doesn't have shimmer or anything. Love it. It's only chipping in a couple of places on my right hand, which I'm right-handed, so, you know, opening things and whatnot chips your nails sometimes. So this hand, I have a few chips, but other than that, it's worn really well. I love this. So on my eyes this week, I was just really all about the glowy, light colors on my lids, and I needed some kind of like grounder sort of shadows. So I was using my Carly Bible palette from BH Cosmetics. I don't know if I've mentioned this recently or not, but, this just looks like a very sort of bridal kind of a palette to me because it's got a lot of like maroons and golds. I really wasn't going for the golds much this week, but just mainly this kind of like maroony colors, like these blending shades here. These are really pretty and they're gorgeous by themselves, but they really do pair so nicely with kind of like, I was wearing a lot of, I'll show you the other palettes in a second, but like purples, light pinks, that kind of thing. And then I have a little bit of blue on today. These are really pretty shadows with that, but I would like grab some other kind of like a darker brown. I have an old Smashbox shadow that I got years ago that's just like a super dark chocolatey brown. I don't even think it's around anymore, but that's kind of like my go-to dark chocolate brown that I'll pair with something like this. So anyway, I was wearing this kind of as my grounder shadows and then also pulling that one in. That's what I've got on today to kind of like deepen up my outer corner, but just really pretty shadows. I think that this palette is a really good value. I think it's, I mean, it kind of varies in price. It sort of depends on what sale they have going on, but like 12, 14, somewhere around in that price range. Um, and then I do have on one of the highlights today. This is the lightest highlight, so I'm wearing this one today. So just a really pretty palette, I love it. And from that Wet n Wild Spring Into the Wild collection, I have just been loving the eyeshadows. I didn't wear this one as much. This one's my second favorite of the two. So the New Romantics is my favorite, but the To Indio I Go Go is also really pretty. Um, really the only reason I don't like this one as much is because of that purple in the middle. It's just not as good. But I mean, this blue is really pretty. So I have on, a lot of these shadows today. I just kind of like grabbed a lot of them. I have the pink, I have the purple, I have the blue, and then I have kind of the white and the cream on the inner corner of my lid or on my eye. So I just got a lot of shadows going on, but I love them all. So I would say if you can track down the collection, I would go with the shadows because they're so pretty. Oh my gosh, I love them so much. So I did apply them foil today um, not all of them, but the blue and the purple, I applied foil. So I wet my brush or I got it on my brush. Then I wet my brush, um, and then applied it and it just made it even more glowy and amazing. I don't know. They're just very light, very kind of like whimsical, fairy like, oh, I love them. They honestly kind of remind me of my makeup geek shadows, like the just glowiness of them. And they're not like as intensely duochrome as the duochrome shadows are from Makeup Geek, but I feel like they sort of have that look once you get them on your eyes. Like, is it, um, 
I think it's black light from Makeup Geek that's so amazing. That's got that like duochrome blue, purple, pink shift to it. You can almost get that look with these shadows, especially if you kind of like pair them together. So pretty. I did film a look using New Romantics, pretty much the same look I was wearing, or I tried to recreate it. The look that I was wearing in my haul, swatch review type video of this collection. So that'll be coming soon. For blush this week, a standout favorite for me was Max Well Dressed which this blush, I didn't get this for a very long time because it's a very light, very subtle pink blush, but you can really build this up. Let me see what it is. Is it a sheer tone? No, it just says satin powder blush, so it's not even like it's a sheer tone, but I mean, I have, you know, pretty light skin. I'm pretty fair complected and I even have to kind of build this up. So just know that about it. I mean, I'm building up the color so I can really show you what it looks like. So it's a really beautiful light pink. It's very glowy, kind of has like, um, it's not super glowy, but like once you get on your skin, I feel like the glow kind of comes out. It's got that satin finish. So it's got a little bit of the glow, but it's just a beautiful light pink. So I feel like it's kind of versatile because it's not super duper pigmented so i've got it applied pretty lightly today since i have so much going on with my eyes so you've got that option that you can just apply it lightly or you can really like go crazy with it and just pile on a lot so i really do enjoy this blush but just if you get it go into it knowing that it's lighter and it does have to be built up but it can be built up so it's pretty. One day I did a very blue eye look using this eyeshadow trio, and then I also used the liner from that um, Wet n Wild collection. So I had a very like, I don't know, statement eye look going on. So I needed a very neutral blush. So I pulled out my Benefit Dallas. I also used Rockateur, but this is what I was mainly wearing. And I, I feel like I talk about Rockateur all the time. I love Rockateur. If you don't have Benefit Rockateur, you need it. It's gorgeous, it's amazing, it goes with everything. But Dallas is also really pretty. I love the little box because, you know, I'm a Texas girl, so it just, it looks Texan, which I really love. But the color of this is really pretty. Again, I didn't get this for the longest time because I thought, I don't look that exciting, you know? Because it's almost like a blush bronzer type of deal, but it's very rosy. See, like when I just like put it on my finger, that just looks like a bronzer. But... When I get it on my skin, it really does, it's kind of that blush bronzer that it sort of like does double duty so you don't have to really do a bronzer and do a blush too. So it's good for like a quick, easy makeup day look, you know, when you're makeup day look, makeup look, easy makeup look day. Yeah, when you're trying to get out the door quickly and you need something quick, this is a good option for you because it can kind of be that like two in one sort of product. But you see it, it's it's sort of like a bronzer, but then it has a little bit of like, I don't know, a rosy tone to it. And it's a little bit of kind of like a satin finish. It's really pretty. So it's a great neutral blush. That's easy. I've mentioned that five times. It's easy, but also it goes with, you know, if you have a more involved sort of eye look, this is a great blush to grab for. And then for lips, when I did that really involved blue eye look with the blue liner and everything, I wanted something neutral on my lips. So I pulled out a really warm toned nude, which I feel like pairs so nicely with a really, especially a blue. I love blues with warm nudes. I think that they just really pair so nicely together. I love this lipstick. This is one of the new shades of the Lorac Alter Ego lipsticks. This is in Nudist, and it is just the most beautiful warm tone nude that's pretty like light toned. So it's a little bit peachy, but then it's a little bit terracotta, but then it's nude. It's so pretty. And I feel like I don't have anything like this in my collection, but I very possibly could. Like I'm wondering if Maybelline's Clay Crush could possibly be close to it, but I feel like this is warmer than Clay Club, Clay, Clark, 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 Clay Crush, <laughs> but I need to compare them. Um, but isn't it pretty? It's just a really nice warm tone nude. I love it, but it's not super dark. Um, and I did pair it with a liner because it doesn't look super duper duper light in the swatch, but when I get it on my lips, it looks semi-light. So I kind of mixed it. 
I'm losing my voice. And also something to note about these, or at least this specific color, this wore really well through a meal and I was not expecting that. I mean, it's, it's kind of a satin finish, so I wouldn't say it's the most creamy, comfortable lipstick, but I wouldn't say it's uncomfortable either. But it's just really nice that it really does stick around on your lips. I mean, it, like I said, it stayed through a meal. So love the color. The formula is really nice too, though, I think. And lastly, I wore my Marc Jacobs Georgie Girl several times this week. I love this lipstick. It is just the cutest pink. I, first off, I love the formula of these. They're very long wearing too. Um, so you kind of get the benefit of like, they're not like a liquid lipstick where they're uncomfortable, but you know, they're still a lipstick, but they're long wearing lipstick. So you get the comfort of a lipstick, but then you get towards the longevity of a liquid lipstick. But this is just the prettiest pink. I mean, it's a, it's like it's a bright pink, but it's not super duper neon. So if you're wanting something sweet and fun and girly and pink, but you don't wanna go like super full on candy yum yum bright, I feel like this is kind of like moving in the direction of that. Isn't it pretty? It's just a really nice kind of like satin cream finish. Oh, I love these. I am wearing this today, um, but I did grab a little bit of nudist and kind of like mixed it with it because it was looking a little bit, a little bit on the bright side with all this going on with my eyes and I wanted it to be a little bit more toned down. So if you have something that you're feeling like is a little bit bright, just grab yourself a new lipstick, mix it with it, and you're good to go. Like I'm always mixing things together. If something's not working, grab a liner, grab another lipstick, do a little mixing, and you're good to go. So these are really nice. They're pricey. I think they're around $30. So they're pricey lipsticks, but they really are nice. So if you're looking for kind of a luxury splurge sort of lipstick, these are great ones. All right guys, so those are all my favorites for this week. So I hope that you really enjoyed this video. Please give it a thumbs up if you did and let me know down below what you were loving this week or maybe not so much loving. Let me know your weekend plans or any questions that you have. I'm happy to answer those. Please subscribe to my channel if you're not already and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.